Today using Apple Motion, we're gonna create a Mr. Beast caption template for Final Cut Pro. This was suggested by Shawnee Pants Golf. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Also, if you're a patron, you can download this template right now and it has some extra animations just for you. First things first, go ahead and open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. From there, we're gonna select the Final Cut title. And I'm gonna recommend you set your duration to something like one second. Usually these captions show up for a very short amount of time. You can set your frame rate and resolution to whatever you like, and you can push open. Firstly, we're just gonna delete the title background and the type text here. Then we're gonna go down and select our text tool. I'm gonna click anywhere, it doesn't really matter, and you can write a caption that you would like to use. Then we can jump on over into the inspector and increase the scale. Now you're gonna notice that I'm using this Comica Axis font. This is a font that looks the closest to Mr. Beast for me. I'm gonna try and have a download down in the description. Once we've done that, we can change our alignment to be centered up and go into our properties and reset our position parameter so that it's directly in the center. Now I'm gonna wanna add an outline and a shadow to this. We can't see it right now, so I'll I'm gonna do is come over to the alpha panel here and change it to alpha overlay. It's gonna turn everything red. Anything that's red is just gonna be completely transparent. Once we've done that, we can go back into our text options, go into the appearance settings and locate the outline. Go ahead and enable that and we're gonna set that to completely black. Then we can go ahead and increase the width so that it appears to look pretty close to the Mr. Beast style. Now I did notice in a lot of Mr. Beast videos that it's actually almost thicker on the bottom right hand side. So we'll scroll on down and enable the shadow. We'll enable the opacity to be 100% and we'll just stretch out the distance until that bottom right hand side has a little extra to it. So now we should be having text that looks very similar to a Mr. Beast caption. After that, we can jump into our property settings and locate the scale properties. You're gonna go to the right hand side, click on this down arrow, and we're gonna add a parameter behavior of overshoot. Now you'll see that that has created an overshoot parameter in our timeline. Go on over to the left hand side and find the start value and we're going to set that to negative 25%. So it's just going to shrink down our text a little bit. Now you'll notice that this overshoot parameter is happening over the entire duration of our project and we definitely don't want that. So let's go ahead and come on in about maybe 12 frames. Selecting that overshoot parameter, push O and that will trim it down. Then we can go ahead and boost up our acceleration to a full 100 and we can change our cycles amount down to one. So now if we play through, we can see we kind of have that Mr. Beast animation of it popping in just like so. Finally, what's super important is come to the end of that animation and push Shift M. That's gonna create this green marker. Go ahead and double click that and change the type from standard over to build in optional. Then let's go ahead and also create an animation for it to pop out. So going back to our properties, locate the scale property again, click add a parameter behavior, and this time we're gonna do ramp. We'll go to the last 10 frames or so and we'll push I. Then we're gonna set the end value to negative 100% so it'll completely vanish. So if we play through, we can see how that shrinks out just like so. We can bring up our curvature slider if we want it to be a little bit smoother. Then we can push Shift M, create another mark double click that and change it to build out optional. So now we have the animation of it popping in and popping out. Now by default, we're probably not gonna want the build out animation. So to fix that, jump into your property settings, go to the project panel and you'll find this build out checkbox. Go ahead and disable that. And so now when we publish this into Final Cut Pro, by default, it's only gonna have the build in animation. We're gonna push Command S and that will enable us to publish it over to Final Cut Pro. So I'll just type in Mr. Beast caption. Then you can set the category to whatever you like. I'll put it in my tutorials category and push publish. So now this should pop up in Final Cut Pro without any problems. Now that I'm in Final Cut Pro, I'm just gonna locate my tutorials category and locate the Mr. Beast caption. We'll drag that onto our timeline and we can just go ahead and place this at the bottom. So now if we play through, we should have this nice little animation of the text popping in but it's not popping out. If we want it to pop out, we can jump into our title parameters and select build out. So now it's going to vanish. And what's great is now that it's in Final Cut Pro, we can change this to say whatever we want. Hey friends. So you can see how it's popping in just like a Mr. Beast caption.